to me, the notion of earned sick time uh, seems uh, like it makes practical sense. It's about uh, uh, improving productivity, um, expanding loyalty in the, in the workforce. There is no evidence that it hurts jobs, indeed, in the places <laughs> where earned sick time has been uh, at work and in play. Uh, job growth has improved rather than lagged. It's a little like the argument you sometimes hear about the minimum wage. In fact, every time the minimum wage has been raised historically, job growth has improved rather than, rather than lag. But as the congressman said, earned sick time, I think, is also a matter of conscience, a matter of conscience. More and more in this job, I understand that there are a handful of people who have all the influence and resources they need to assure their interests on Beacon Hill. And whether the interests of anybody else are heard or seen depends on the leadership we have. Leadership around question four, and indeed earned sick time, is about seeing everybody. It's about the part of that phrase, being governor of the whole state, which is not just geographic, but in fact demographic. Seeing everybody who lives, works, struggles, aspires in this state. Now is the time for us to turn to each other, not on each other to lift all of the commonwealth, to build a sense of community. And earned sick time is just another example of how we do that. Paying attention to people who may not have the advantages some of us in this room do. To be able to take a day to look after a sick child or an ailing parent, but who have exactly the same aspirations, exactly the same hopes to lift themselves and their families and live the American dream. Earn sick time now. Let's go do this. Yeah. Thank you.